I think if I could start from scratch or, well, I, I could start from scratch, I guess, but I, I think if I were starting from scratch and I wanted to be a little more active than the average person, right? I kind of think the Holy Trinity portfolio is like Ethereum, stable coins, and real estate. Of the amount I keep in crypto, right? Like if you're not scared of being in crypto, I would keep like, you know, 60 or 70, 80% of my cash like in stablecoin. And I would put like 10% in like Ethereum and like 10% in real estate or, or make that 50% cash and 40% real estate and 10% Ethereum. But the general idea is to just have like a large chunk of cash that is farming stable yield, a small chunk of your portfolio that is really exposed to like hyper volatile assets, but with like super, super high upside. And then you have the stable real estate with like the cash flow, right? And then you're going to feel good in like every environment. When the crypto is ripping, your little 10% allocation might quadruple in a year and get you 40% on your overall portfolio, which is pretty cool. Your stable coins, which are half your portfolio, make you 20%, which is pretty cool, right? But then when everything crashes, like your real estate's just going to be still sitting there making cash flow. So who cares, right? But then you're going to have this bucket of money to be like, and then you change, you change your mindset from I'm farming interest to, oh boy, I'm going to go on a shopping spree. And it just means that like, no matter what's happening, you always have like a clear head on your shoulders and everything is kind of good for everything that you're doing, right? And I, I think that like basic heuristic can just be, I, should I do the not financial? <laughs> that is <laughs> so like, This hard is just one guy's, one guy's view on how I like to approach this. Um, but I, I think that balances the outcome and the risk. I really, really like it, but in an environment where like FOMO is honestly like a way of life and has become cool, really hard to sit back in a bull market when that's happening and just watch your Ethereum grow and not want to participate and not want to buy NFTs and not want to buy the next layer two that's about to rip. Really hard to do. I don't know if I could hold myself back to like 10%. I definitely am not. But here's the thing. <laughs> if you have 10 even if you go ham and you double your allocation because you can't help yourself and you buy some things to scratch the itch, hey, you're still only at 20. That's that's okay. You can live with that. You guys are both right. I actually think that Steven kind of like unlocked the holy grail there a little bit. And Armand made it like the perfect uh, secondary point to it, which is like if you use ETH stables and real estate as like the proxy for the new stocks and bonds portfolio allocation, but then like you can take an, an individual investor's preferences to like massage that and be like, okay, so if you want to take more risk than ETH, you can like either put a higher allocation there, or you can even go out to higher beta stuff like alt L1s using that ETH allocation and, you know, taking from stables or real estate. But like, I think that Maybe framework it's a crypto makes allocation. so much sense. Yeah. yeah. I think that just kind of awesome.